And guys, this is the blueprint to look after our videos. Oh, really cool! Sharp, Isn't that magnificent? If you ever wondered how big mine is. Right, so away we go guys. Uh, I'm gonna leave Northumberland. Um, not welcome here, obviously, by the council. I was gonna go down to the castle village and have dinner and have a drink and all that and spend some money. Right, let's crack on guys. Lovely jubbly. It's a lovely day. It's a beautiful day. We're in the remotes, as I say, guys. Let's get back across to the borders. Watch you guys, warm welcome, blimey. After that bloody uh, drama with the van nearly going up in bloody smoke. Uh, the next day, um, uh, well in the afternoon, I'll come to use my computer. Uh, now when I had the smoke and everything in the van, it all went dark. I opened the vents to get all the smoke out of the van and everything. I opened my roof vents and my windows and everything at the door. And uh, as you know, we sorted it out in the end. Uh, we're fine now. The wind's blowing a bit today. Uh, we're fine now, but uh, uh, I come to use my bloody laptop and uh, I didn't realise that I left my front skylight open and it absolutely poured down the rain last night. And it's been raining now for about three bloody days. <laughs> That's Scotland for you. And I looked at my laptop and there's water on the top of it. I looked up and I'd left the skylight open from when we had the, um, the uh, wire problem. And my laptop was soaked in water. Oh my God, it's one thing after a bloody another. What the hell's going on? <laughs> Country bloody van life, bleeding dramas. What am I like? I'm a total bloody plunker, I tell you. It's soaked in water. Uh, I don't turn it on, I need to dry it out. Uh, so I'm drying it out now. It's just a puddle around the bloody laptop. If any, anywhere for the water to drop, it drops straight on top of the laptop underneath the skylight. What a twonk. Anyway, I've got it drying in front of the heater. Hopefully when I turn it on, it don't bloody really blow up because if that goes, I'm in poo-poo. Uh, anyway, guys. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. What am I like, eh? What am I bloody well like? I've got it cups now. Later, guys. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions Food on the hoof Had to stop at that garage there Get some supplies uh, The diesel was 161 That's a trip we stopped seeing it in Oh, two years Sausage rolls, some nice cream cakes as well, like some samosas, that would you. We're still rolling across these beautiful dales, uh, heading towards Dumfries. Well, this cross country rail from um, east to west, guys, uh, heading towards the lowlands is magnificent. Some of the beautiful scenery I've passed. The beautiful dales and the beautiful rivers and the beautiful villages. Oh, you want to stop in every single spot? We stopped in this little lay-by. Nice little lay-by this is actually. Nice little park-up. No restrictions at all. So another nice little park-up. Right, we'll crack on. Crack on, it's Wednesday with a journey. The last cafe in England. Closed. <laughs> Typical, England is closed. I'll bring it back when we hit the border. We are in Scotland, yes, my lovely Scotland. Here I go. We're in Scotland. We're back in Scotland. Loving it. A bit misty and cloudy, eh? but be mind. Don't th think we're that far from uh, G and D, uh, Galloway, Dumfries, Dumfries and Galloway, D and G. We're not that far, I don't think. 
think about uh, 50 miles, I think, guys. But uh, all the valleys down there, the Scottish Glens, the beautiful Scottish Glens and mountains and rivers. Lovely. Back at you later, guys. We've just crossed the uh, border into DNG. We are now officially in Dumfries and Galloway. Outside uh, Dumfries, uh, oops, shaking a bit there. Uh, where are we? Uh, 10.30 in the morning, just got the engine ticking over. Uh, so I put in my diesel in. Now, we'll see what today brings, shall we? Uh, just settling in now. Uh, now I'm here in DNG, um, in Galloway, I'm gonna settle down. Good jubbly, so we're here at last. Oh, where are we going, Sky? Where are we going? We're on a forest track at the moment, guys. Just outside Dumfries. Just uh, looked at Google Earth to find a quicker way to this place. Uh, hopefully I don't get lost, but I don't mind getting lost. Look at this gorgeous forest land. Beautiful. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I got a wonderful feeling everything's going my way. That's that Stevie. <laughs>
Nós. Não dá dois. Absolute stunner, Martin. Uh, one of my followers uh, recommended this one um, uh, in the chat on the last video. Uh, even though I was coming down this road anyway, because I wanted to, I want to do every single road on the, um, especially on the coastal route of um, Dumfries and Galloway uh, while I'm here for the next few months over winter. Uh, so thanks, Martin. Absolute cracking spot, mate. What a absolute gem. And we're right, we're right outside a beautiful abbey called Sweetheart Abbey. What a beautiful name for an abbey. Sweetheart Abbey. In this little town, Abbey. Is it New Abbey? Little town. Uh, just about, uh, I think it's about 10 miles from um, Dumfries. What a cracking park up. It's a proper car park. No restrictions at all. We've got toilets. We've got bins, we've got the village, we've got the abbey, we've got country, we've got mountains, Scottish glens and Scottish hills. What a cracking park. Lovely. Welcome to the lovely Dumfries and Galloway winter tour. Winter van life in on lovely Scotland. It's lovely to be back in Scotland. So many park ups. No, no more street park ups. No more urban park ups. It's all going to be wild stuff from now on. This is not that wild, but uh, it's wild enough, guys. It's lovely. Later. Watch you guys. Oh, where are we? Just turn. Turn the radio down a little bit. Lovely. Just settling into this lovely camp. Uh, where are we? 12 o'clock midday. Uh, 12 degrees inside and 8 degrees outside. So not too bad today. Got a bit of sun as well. Uh, just had a bit of a tidy up as well. Bit of a tidy up in Christine. Swept my carpets out. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of washing of my linen as well, hopefully, later on today. Uh, we'll just take you outside, guys. Absolutely cracking camp. Here it is. Beautiful rolling fields and mountains up there, guys. This outside Christine. I've had a tidy up. Tidied everything up nicely. All looking lovely. Cleaned on my carpet as well. Uh, I need to get some uh, hard floor, really. Especially with the dog. This guy is dancing around outside. I think she wants a dump. Lovely jobly. And uh, I'll just show you my bedroom view for tonight, guys. It's amazing. Cozy bed. Here's my lovely girl, Christine. Love you, sweetheart. Oh, I wish she was with me this Christmas, darling. Uh, right, to show you my bedroom view, guys. And it is a stunner. Look at that. We're right outside an abbey. Look at that blue sky. That's Sweetheart Abbey, guys. In this lovely new abbey village. Historical village. Absolutely stunning. So quiet as well. It is so quiet. Get my guitar out later, have a pluck on that. Looking down, Christine. Kettle's on, mother. Kettle's on, mother. Cup of tea time. Cup of Yorkshire. Lovely. Did I show you my uh, bag of tea bags? Got a giant bag up there. 500 tea bags, I think. Lovely. <laughs> Bargain, 10 quid. Right. We'll have a couple of Guinness tonight as well. Celebrate. We're settling down here on Dumfries and Galloway. Got my map on my TV because I don't watch the TV much. There we are, guys. Dumfries and Galloway. That's where we're at. Sky's having a dinner outside. Kettle's on, mother. Let's have a cup of tea. Lovely.
Lovely. Let's turn the music down. We don't get copyrights. We get copyright it, do we? Just show you around, guys, some of my winter van life. Uh, obviously, this is the lowlands of Scotland here. We've come all up the east coast, all down here, guys, up the east coast and all these resorts. And we've cut across now, uh, all the way across here, the lowlands. We're exploring all of Dumfries Galloway. This is Dumfries Galloway here, guys, all this area here on this peninsula. Lovely jumbly. And uh, we'll tour all around the coast. Look at this, guys. What a stunning location again. And what a lovely park up. This sky, loving it. She's had her breakfast. And uh, there we go. And just out the back of Christine, we have got Sweetheart Abbey. Look at that. This lovely car park, nice flask. Time at car park. We've got uh, bottle banks there, which might be a bit noisy in the daytime. Uh, we've got uh, some toilets over there. There you go, there's a couple of cars here, but it's very quiet. Look at that glorious sun, and it's actually warm. It must be 12 degrees today. It is beautiful. I can feel the sun on my face for the first time in three weeks. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, so there's a couple of cars. We've got mountains all around us, as you can see. We've got forests up there as well, guys. And there's Christine and this lovely, lovely park up. We've got some bins over there as well. Obviously, we've got the village for you. Your water freeze and look at that amazing place. We'll have a look at that later, guys. Uh, this is where we are, New Abbey. Uh, not far from Dumfries. If this is Scotland, I want more of it. Yeah, too true as well. Too true. Beautiful place. Now we've got the uh, coast. Just down here, guys, the Solway Firth. Uh, We've got Loch, Loch Kinder, not far away. Plenty of walks, all the walks there. Plenty of walks. We've got a three hour walk, four hour walk, one and a half hour walk, and another one and a half hour walk. Aids Point, Criffel, Shambelly Woods, and the Waterloo Monument viewpoints. So plenty to see, guys. A lovely jubbly. Welcome to New Abbey. Lovely, and what a beautiful place it is. It's a shame they're refurbing or uh, doing some archeology span or whatever around the Abbey. It's closed off at the moment. What a magnificent cathedral that is, Abbey. Wonderful, we'll have a look around the village later. It's just up there, guys, the village. There's walks everywhere. Beautiful. What a stunning, free, free, RV campsite free guys we're in Scotland of course plenty of free ones in Scotland guys most minor wild uh, off-grid kind of places but uh, it's lovely to have a free purpose-built RV park up where no one's gonna bother you you're well out the way of the houses love it Local binmen just doing the bins, guys. A lovely, friendly people. He come out of his van and he brought a big bone over for Sky, a big chewy bone. Welcome to Scotland. So friendly. I love the Scottish people. You enjoying that Sky? Look at that. Brought a big bone. Bin men of Scotland. Respect. Thank you, guys. Right. If any councils out there, you know all the dodgy councils we go through, guys, with all the. Uh, poo-pooing RVs, poo-pooing camper vans, park-ups overnights in their lovely villages, all across England, Wales as well. This is the blueprint, guys. This is the blueprint to look after RVs. And they're spending a fortune. Each one is spending £100 a weekend or whatever in the tiny little village here of New Abbey. This is the blueprint, guys. Get your bloody act together. Just a bit of tarmac, couple of bins, toilets, uh, or toilets in the village, whatever. Just a bit of tarmac, somewhere for RVs to park for the noise, out the way, not bothering anyone. Nice, clean, tidy facilities. Councils across the UK, councils across Wales. Get your finger out, 
and have a look what's going on here in Scotland. Looking after our viewers and our viewers bringing in loads of money to the local community. Perfect. Well done, Scotland. Uh, but anyway, uh, I want you to share a little secret with me, with you guys. A little personal secret. How big it is. If you ever wondered how big mine is. Has anybody out there ever wondered how big mine is? Probably nobody, but I'm going to show you how big mine is, guys. And you have never seen one as big as this, guys. I tell you, just let me talk the camera down so I can show you it. It is, it is a whopper, guys. <laughs> and girls. Guys, it is, guys. Let's tilt the camera down a bit. What is it? What is it? What is it? Look at the size of that. Is that not the biggest you've ever seen? Chaps and girls. <laughs> that is a bloody whopper. A fresh cream chocolate eclair. Look at the size of it. I think it was two quid mind you but uh have you got one that big put your comments down below has anybody got one that big shall i shove it in shall we shove it in see if it'll go in oh where uh, missus here we go oh <laughs> it's 20 to 1 in the morning I'm having a cup of tea and the biggest chocolate eclair in the world. Comments down below. Is yours as big as mine? <laughs> oh, what a plunker. All right, guys, we're going to go for a little walk around the village because uh, I'm not sure how long we'll have this sun. I think it's going to be cloudy, raining in the next couple of days. So, uh, while we get a chance, and while the sun's Shining, let's make hay and go and have a look at this lovely, this lovely new Abbey village, historic little town here in Dumfries. Oh, look at that sun, look at that blue sky, wow! There's Christine back there, guys, all nice and cozy, and this lovely park up. The toilets are nice as well, nice and clean toilets in there. Got shops up here as well. Uh, not sure what's open and what's about, but we'll go and have a look. And there's the glorious, the glorious abbey. Wow, look at that! Isn't that magnificent? Look at these guys, so peaceful and quiet. Not a soul about. Absolutely lovely, lovely whitewashed buildings. Not a soul. I'm not seeing a soul. I'm not seeing a car. I'm not seeing a person. Crazy. Good crack on. Beautiful, look at that blue sky. Right to the village now, guys. The village square of fish, I think, I'm not quite sure. The Hermitage, I think that's something to do with priests back in medieval time. A few little lights knocking around, but uh, not a lot in the way of Christmas decorations. New Abbey stores here. I think that's a grocery shop, hopefully. That's the new Abbey corn mill. They used to produce a lot of corn back in the day, medieval time, guys. It's quite famous for corn and all kinds of seeds. Uh, I believe that's a museum. Might have a look at that later. There you go, guys, New Abbey Corn Mill, just at the end of the village. What a lovely place. I don't know whether that's another park up there or it's a park up for the Corn Museum. We've got a lovely river running through as well. Good sky see, can you see rabbits? What you got, sky? Hey, Sky, come here, come here, leave him alone. The little mill pool there, where the monks, the monks did like their uh, carp. That's what the uh, carp fish came over to this country for, to feed the monks. And they had the uh, carp pools everywhere. Look at that river running through the forest. Wow, that's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. The Scottish River running through the forest, the pine forest.
See my shadow there? You're down at this uh, little mill pond. The sluice there going under the road. Guys having a drink. Here's a little sluice guys, medieval sluice guys. There's that beautiful bridge here at New Abbey. And the beautiful Scottish forest. This is what's left of the uh, old mill pond. I presume it belonged to the uh, Abbey. There's so much been slaughtered there. Pigeons been munched by a fox or something. How glorious is this, guys? How beautiful. Looking back at the sluice gate and the corn mill and the entrance to the village. This sluice system goes all the way up the meadows there, guys, all the way around. Some sort of water irrigation system. Uh, probably for the corn mill to drive a wheel or something, I don't know. There's lots of lumber up there, again. The area is famous for lumber. Back in the day as well, some more sluice gates here. All this is medieval, guys. Going all the way up there into the sunshine. How fascinating. The irrigation system goes off in different directions. Keep your eye out for a red squirrel, guys. Let me know if you see one. Because I've yet to see one in the wild. We've got a little beach here. Oh, it'd be nice to have a swim here. A little beach on the river. How about that? Amazing. Got the lumber up there, guys. And the sluice system going everywhere. The channels of the sluice system all over the place. The irrigation or water system here. Let's go down to the river's edge. A lovely tanned Scottish river. With that lovely tinge of redness to it. Meandering through the Scottish valley there. Keep looking up guys, try and find a red squirrel. You gotta come here guys, if you come to Galloway, Dumfries, New Abbey, what a fantastic place. Well, I had a lovely chat with a lady from the uh, Corn Museum, telling me about the history of this place. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So much history to this historic village. Uh, but uh, there's a couple of water mills apparently, wheels, there's an older one going back to the 17th century. That one goes to the 18th century. And um, uh, with the dissolution of uh, the monasteries by good old Henry, uh, a lot of it's gone there. But uh, yeah, that's a shame. No dogs and no filming allowed. Uh, so uh, whether I go in there and have a look, I don't know. It's no good if I can't film, is it? So uh, yeah, corn mill, new abbey. Hello, filming. If you want put more people in your door, hello for you, I mean. Lovely job there, right? We'll have a walk back up. Stunning. Hear the dogs barking. Uh, yeah, that is a grocery shop there. So you can get all your groceries there, all your supplies there, guys. Lovely. What a beautiful afternoon. What beautiful weather. That lady was very friendly, but... Uh, so it's a bit daft, isn't it? No filming. Couldn't understand if it was 20 quid to get in. And they wanted it to, uh, to get the revenue that way. But it's only £3.50. <laughs> Hello, Phil. Hello, Phil. Hello, Phil. Hello, Phil. Hello, Phil. Right, guys, that's where Christine is. Through there in the car park. We've just come from up there. The village that way. And now we're going to go back this way, guys. Lovely jubbly.
All right, we're going to have a look at this little church here, guys. Uh, this is obviously not as old as the Abbey. Uh, you can see the village there behind me, guys. New Abbey. Just going to have a look at this uh, little church. We'll have a look at the lock tomorrow. We'll have a walk down to the lock and have a look at that tomorrow. It's lovely. Keep on walking while the sun is shining. Lovely. This is the other church in New Abbey, guys. This is uh, not as old as the Abbey, obviously. This is New Abbey Parish, Church of Scotland. Uh, it's closed at the moment, but uh, might be able to get in tomorrow. But uh, looks late 19th century to me, I don't know. But uh, nice looking building anyway. All right, that's enough for my evening walk. Go back to Christine at the Abbey. What a beautiful place and so peaceful and so quiet guys gorgeous you go guys the bacon's cooking nicely i like it nice and crispy i've got my uh, tortillas ready uh we've grated some cheese we'll put all this together guys lovely all right the bacon and cheese is there ready we'll get a tortilla wrap bacon fat just whack it in there guys just warm that up a little bit both sides a bit of sauce, you can have whatever sauce you like, chilli sauce or whatever, but I'm just going to have some red sauce guys, just a little bit, not too much, just a drizzle. There you go, nice drizzle of red sauce, honey. Love your job, mate. Right, they are cooking nicely, lovely, get all that cheese melted. Right, in for a nice little feast. I do loads of variations on this theme, I do corn, cheese, pineapple, all sorts of stuff in a wrap like this. Cheers guys, nice cup of tea. There we go guys, nice cheese, red sauce, uh, wraps, uh, do this without it falling off the plate. <sighs> Can you see those guys? Absolutely lovely, one of my favourite foods, really one of my favourite foods. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh. That's lovely. Beautiful, want a bit? <laughs> I'll give her one of these as well. Delicious guys. Country van life and top cup. Can't beat it.